Good morning all. I hope you're all really, really well. We have spent the weekend at my parents. It was so nice, super chilled, um, and now we are back home. Where are we, Pep? Where are we, Pep? You excited? Are you excited? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Do you want to get out? Do you want to get out of the car? Broken ice cream is from 2013. <laughs> it's Banoffee Pie ice cream. You gonna do the honours? Test it? <laughs> I can can hear, you even get it out? I can hear Lost Souls escaping like... from the... <laughs> You've just opened Pandora's box and what have you got? Some raspberries. Go on then, give it a go. Good luck. It's still hard. <laughs> and the ice cream's supposed to be hard. That's alright now. What? How does it taste? <laughs> is it not good? <laughs> I don't think it's very really good. <laughs> is that a no? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You're absolutely fine. Is it okay. really? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Perfectly right. Oh dear. And now your damaged goods, damaged should have never been. Thought you were bulletproof. Look at you. What happened? Did she hurt you? Are you okay, baby? Everyone gets hurt. That's how we learn to make love work. It's part of life. But if you need a lot ride today which should be really really fun um we've both got new bikes and we've got a little basket on the front of ben's so that we can take peppy with us now she's not been in a basket or anything like that before so we're trying to train her into it and it's taking a little bit of convincing so we've we did like some loops around the garden um with treats and stuff but today is the first time she's actually going to be cycled in the bike so fingers crossed for us i really hope it works we've got treats and things um and it's also quite a warm day and we we haven't known whether or not to take her she's just coming in now we haven't known whether or not to take her um because i think she was feeling a little bit funny this morning i don't think she went to the toilet last night and then i think she worked herself up and um really needed to go to the toilet but anyway so yeah, I think we're going to try and take her this morning. We're going to cycle to a place called Powderham Castle. They've, it's beautiful. They have deer in the grounds. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but it is quite a cycle. So I think the round trip cycle is about 20 miles. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we should get going because it is already getting later in the day. I think it's maybe about 10 o'clock, half nine, 10 o'clock. Um, so we're going to go and get some brunch at Powderham. Um, and yeah, it should just be really, really nice. And come this way. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Put her in. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Peppy. What well, good puppy. Hey. You'll be fine in there. See? Put your towel. It'll be nice and cool now. Oh, my hands are wet, so I can't do it. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, Peppy's fine. slightly Stop shaking, shaking, but she's fine. Stop shaking. See? Yep. Say hello to the camera. No. 
Are you being a good girl? Are you being a good girl? Can you come and sit in the shade? Sit in the shade. In the shade. Good girl. You've been so good, haven't you? Oh, how nice is this? Beautiful. Smile. We have come to a place called Turf. What's Puppy doing? Scratching. Um, and it's really, really good. They're so organised and so set up for COVID. Uh, we just got a coffee to share and a few little cakes because I've not eaten anything yet today. And I think then we're going to cycle on to Powder Up. Is that what we're going to do? Why not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really good here and it's so idyllic and so beautiful and green and just a lovely spot to come to. So nice. We didn't bring any swim stuff, so we're gonna have a nice little puddle, cool off a bit. You coming in, Peppy? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> she doesn't like the waves, but she likes the water, so at least we can all cool off a little bit. Um, and then we've got the long cycle home. <laughs> Tired after all the vegetables, aren't you, Peppy? We're going to try and find somewhere to wash her off so that she's nice and clean, and then we can pop her back in her basket. We've gone for a bean salad. Ben is going to eat this disgusting thing here. And what is it? A chickpea coronation chickpea? Yeah, coronation chickpea. That sounds so oh, good. So we're going to go halves, aren't we? No. Yes. And some cheesy chips just because we're hungry. And then this little one. You being a good girl, Peppy. Hot is a huge understatement how I feel right now. I'm so warm. 
Oh, I'm so sunburnt. I bet I've got proper t-shirt lines. <sighs> Am I glowing? Honestly, I'm knackered. I could go to sleep right now. It's 4.30. What time did we leave? 10.30? <laughs> We've been out all day. I'm eyeing up this water. I need this so bad. How do you feel? Pooped. Literally pooped. Pooped. Poop de la scoop. Knackered. I've just come in, taken off my shoes. Look what I've just seen, Ben. Oh, yeah. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. That's not good. Um, Peppy had another swim on the way back. I didn't film it again. Um, so she's nice and cool. So I've sent her to the garden. Hopefully she hasn't Sound run in. I don't know if you can see her here run in to the hallway um but i think i can't even sit in the garden i might go sit on the grass in the shade because i'm just so warm good morning um i'm aching today i'm really aching we did our cycle yesterday i don't know if i signed off i can't even remember the last thing i said to you guys um but we ended up cycling 22 miles all the way to dawlish warren and back again it was such a nice day i'm still very sunburnt i think you can see it there um it is getting better actually and i'm feeling okay peppy is absolutely exhausted today she's just coming in to join me hello can we say hi come say hello come here oh she's having a stretch excuse me while i have a stretch come here come here come here, come here. say hello um this one it needs a bath today because i'm sure she has a little bit of salt in her fur still and um, she just needs a bath anyway because she's generally getting a bit bedraggled, aren't you? Aren't you? I'll let her get down. Um, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea in a minute. We've had, like, not a lazy morning, but just, like, a different morning. We woke up this morning and I was like, Ben, that lawn really needs mowing. So we mowed the lawn this morning. Um, and I also turned over all the soil in the hydrangea bed because I can't remember if I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but the hydrangeas have started to go like greeny. And I kind of thought it was down to quite a lot of like um, algae had settled on top, algae or something else, had settled on top of the soil. So I thought if it had a good like turnover and a good aeration, then hopefully it might get better. But I've given myself, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, a blister on my finger here and it is there you go it's very painful and obviously i use that hand and that finger to do everything so when i'm looking at my phone and stuff like if i get my phone my phone is like rested there on the corner can you see right there which is where i've got the blister so that's delightful We've taken in all the cushions and everything from the garden because we've got a little bit of rain today. So that's good. I think we've kind of needed a day to be in the house. And also my sunburn yesterday, I need a day to recover from that. So that's fine. Um, and it's good for all the garden to have a good water. I thought if we cut the lawn this morning, then all the rain and everything would just rehydrate it and give it a bit of a break. So that's good. Um, I'm going to show you the master bedroom in a bit because we're making progress, but it is so slow. Um, I think because we've had such nice weather, all we've wanted to do is be outside and be having adventures and seeing my family and things like that. So we've not really been here and we've not really been working on it, but I'm so excited to get into that bedroom now because it's so much bigger and I think it's really going to change how we live in the house. And I think having space in a bedroom is just going to make all the difference because right now like all our clothes are everywhere i mean we have the little box room where we're keeping our clothes but ben also uses it as his gaming room he likes to go on like cod and things like that um so he sits in there and with the chair and the tv and then the rails are closed you literally can't get in and can't like it's not like a dressing room so i can't wait to have the wardrobes in the master bedroom and everything just like there and usable do you know what i mean like real first world problems but it will just make our life a lot easier um and i'm keeping like a floor drobe next to the bed currently where 
my most used clothes go so if you see me in the same stuff that's why because i just can't be bothered to dive through the rails and try and find the things i need anyway i digress um i have a and in the style order which is lorna's new collection so lorna lux um designs for in the style and her collections are honestly really really good she is such a talented designer and she's very good at knowing what other people are going to want <gasps> i've just seen the color of this it's quite apt actually that i have these hydrangeas here these by the way i don't know if i said i got them from my mum's house so her hydrangea bush is beautiful and it has these gorgeous like i'll show you like pastely blue and pink hydrangeas on it and there's the pink and i just thought it was so beautiful so i said can i have some and i've actually taken some clippings let me show you the clippings actually before i show you before i show you my order let me show you the clippings oh it's bright so i don't know if these are growing or not they look a little bit sad and a little bit floppy but i've given them water so essentially you're supposed to cut them with two leaf nodules um and then you're supposed to take the leaves off those nodules and you're only supposed to leave the top leaves on and if they have these big ones up here you halve them so you just literally chop them in half um and it's supposed to help the plant grow so apparently they're really easy to um populate but these aren't looking brilliant so far so yeah not sure how we're gonna go with this one <laughs> while i'm out here as well i'll just show you what i've done to the hydrangea bed this morning so i got rid of all the grass at the back then mowed the lawn so that's all looking really really good and i've also got some flowers appearing on my lilac tree again which is random because i didn't know they flowered again but very nice I'm going to enjoy them i think i'll snip some down and um put them in a vase so yeah that's all looking pretty good now you can see how green they've gone so i'm hoping they're going to change color again and i know the trick of putting nails in but i'm not going to get to that just yet i'm going to see if this makes a difference this plant here looks beautiful it's just these ones that have gone more greeny and peppy having a good sniff over the bird food <laughs> back inside and i'll show you my order i ordered two dresses and i don't know if i've made a mistake because I ordered one of them in a size eight because I have been having, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll have seen that I've lost a little bit of weight and I've been buying the same size clothes, but they have been way too big. So I've sized down and I'm so nervous about sizing down. So this dress is actually an eight. So I'm gonna see how it goes. But this looks, oh, it feels lovely. This dress was more expensive as well than um, Lorna's typical typical price points so this is 50 pounds um and it's literally just like i don't know if there's a technical way to describe this but i think the best way to describe it is like a tent dress so it literally just has straps here and it just hangs and flows and i thought the print of this was so beautiful i love anything blue and white see again it goes so beautifully with my hydrangeas um and the fabric is a really lovely like silky texture i think these sold out really really quickly but if they are um online i will of course link them down below um and it's got a really good weighted hem so that the hem stays down and doesn't blow up around your neck but this is a maxi dress so i'm looking forward to trying this one on i might do a little try on for you as well um actually maybe i'm gonna put it on and then i'm gonna show you what it looks like this is the first dress on excuse peppy's uneaten food here um I'm really pleased with this. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. I'm actually really happy that I went with the eight as well. On Lorna, it looks really lovely. She's slightly um, less endowed here than I am. Um, and I don't love how big this looks. But if with a different bra, I think it would look a little bit different. But I do think this is so pretty. And obviously, not for a beach holiday, because I'm not going to be going on any anytime soon. But I just thought it was just such a pretty little throw-on summer dress for any any occasion, really. This would look lovely as a wedding guest dress um, or anything. I know it looks a little bit tenty right now, but I think with a pair of wedges or something and styled right, even maybe with a little belt on. I'm also very glad I went for the eight in this because it's actually quite big. 
um, I've got still quite a lot of room up here so yeah that's a good thing I think um, it's elasticated at the back but yeah again I think I could have even sized down a little bit on this so I'm quite pleased I ordered a size 8 rather than a size 10 Okay, a little bit of imagination is going to have to be used with this one. We are mainly girls on this channel, so I hope you don't mind seeing a little bit of bra. But um, I know Lorna loves a low neck, um, so typically she doesn't wear these with a bra. I think what I'm going to have to do is pull this in and put a pin somewhere in the middle. I always have to do this with a lot of my clothes anyway because I feel like a lot of ones like this are made for women without much hair, if that makes sense. Um, and it's not something I want to highlight, especially in a dress like this, which is fairly like tighter fitting. Love the sleeves on this. I think they are beautiful. Love the fit. I went for a size 10 in this dress and I probably could have got away with an eight actually, but I'm glad for a little bit of movement around here. There's still like this little pouch that I'm wanting to get rid of. So yeah, it still, it still fits really, really nicely. Um, obviously I will deal with the boobage situation and it's got this little like front leg slit which I'm not normally into um, slits and dresses because I'm not a huge fan of my legs but I think I can maybe get away with this one I think I would wear this during the day with a pair of wedges or for an evening like a date night or something between Ben and I I may even hook that up a little bit I think it looks even more flattering if the gather is higher up so maybe like that so there's a little bit of pinning and tucking i think this could look really lovely but yeah those are the two things i got and i think this one was 45 pounds so again if it's still on sale i will link it down below um but i just love this print i just think here i'll show you I'll show you in the light i just think this print is so pretty and this one is a little bit more actually i think they are the same fabric which is actually a really really lovely fabric i'm not a fan of organza and this thankfully isn't organza so yeah just pulling this in hooking this up and it will be perfect <laughs> hopefully you can hear me all right it is a little bit echoey in here because it is very empty um but i'm standing in the master bedroom as i said not a lot has happened but we have been measuring up the walls so i just thought i would give you a really quick update and show you where we're at obviously the master bedroom reveal is going to go into a whole video on its own as well but there's no reason why i can't show you sneak peeks along the way um which i will be doing so i'm pretty sure have i shown you the electrics we had our friend pete come and do the electrics which was amazing so we fitted this gold light switch i really find this so satisfying as a as a light switch i just think that's so nice um and then we went with like black and gold plug sockets and switches which i really like um obviously there's no skirting boards on yet everything is really dirty um but this is what i wanted to show you the measuring up for the paneling so i'll show you this side because it's probably more visible over here so as you can see ben has measured up and marked on the walls where all the paneling is going to go so i don't know what you call this line um but Obviously, the one that's higher up is called a picture rail. I'm not sure what this one is called. Um, but anyway, so we're going to have a medium board here. And that's going to be... Uh, I have them here. That's going to be with this wood. So that's going to go along the middle. And then all the actual panelling sections are going to be framed with this one. So it should look really beautiful. So those are the two of them together. And the whole thing is going to be painted white. So when it's finished, obviously, you can see... The bed will go in the middle here. If I stand right back, you can get a better feel for the space. Um, obviously the horrible cream door will get changed at some point as well, but the bed will go in the middle here between the plugs and we put a new plug socket here. I don't know. I don't know if any of you are good at DIY and I don't know if any of you know about building, but how do we fill this in? Um, 
I don't really want to plaster the whole thing. I'd rather just use like a filler or something, but I need to figure, oh, hello toes. I need to figure out a way to fill this um, and then cover it over because the skirting board will come up to here and then we'll have paneling here. I'm still not sure how we're gonna do that either, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, so all these markings on the walls are for the paneling. So we've done 10 centimeters between each. This is 13 because we've got the thickness of the board to go here. But I think when this is done, it's gonna look fabulous. And you can see all the little markings that Ben's done up in all the corners. So I'm really, really excited to get going with that now. Um, ben has measured it all up as well, so we know exactly how much of everything we need. So he can order that um, and then we can get going with it. I think we're gonna use no more nails and tacks to stick it all on the wall. So I'll let you know how we go with that because in the jungle room, I'll insert the video of that up here. In the jungle room, we had to nail in, or not even nail, we had to screw in every single one of the boards because this back wall is gonna be brick. So it might be a little bit easier to join onto, but I think this is just a stud. Yeah, that's just a stud wall. So it's literally just like plasterboard, whereas all the rest are brick. So I think the brick is gonna be easier to secure it to. Plasterboard is gonna be harder. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this video has been enjoyable enough for you guys. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Again, if you have any uh, tips on how to fill in that hole, that would be fabulous. I'll really, really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I hope you are having a lovely week so far. I will see you on Sunday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.